all right so uh, I'm making this video just a kind of a reminder to myself and whoever will be seeing it probably benefit them so and I strongly believe that I haven't covered uh, this specific instruction on Emacs before although I have covered so many instruction related uh, stuff in the past videos if you can go go back to the channel and have a look at it okay so in this specific video I'm going to take a peek on few specific stuff which might come in handy although although not everything is as apparent or as uh, frequently used to me at least that's why I'm going to make a video that if I stuck up somewhere I might pull it up or look into my note or something like that I hope the same thing will happen to some of the people not everyone so with a further ado let me go to my Emacs client which I have already opened uh, this is a Emacs client running on TDY. So the first thing I need to tell you, so to say I have a, this is a line one. Uh, this is a line two. Now some, for instance, I want to adjust, I want to add this second line with the first line how do i do that to do this you have to do meta and caret or circumflex whatever you like what you have to do you have to do meta and caret or circumflex whatever you say it okay so it will join the below line with the top line let me do it one more time it's fun right so I want to join the second line with the first line how do I do that press meta and caret see it get joined in one line okay cool so then the, the next one is so for instance I want to uh, I want to enclose this entire statement, the entire line, in a bracket, parenthesis. How do I do that at once? Probably your cursor is sitting on the very beginning. Okay. So I want to enclose this stat sentence within bracket. How do I do that? Meta and first bracket. I'm so sorry. Oh, I made a mistake. So I'm repeating again. I can't remember these things. I want to enclose the statement within bracket. How do I do that? Simply mark it, control space, control E, okay? And all you have to do, meta and for C. I just press meta and first bracket okay so all you have to do if you want to enclose a sentence within a bracket all you have to do mark that sentence first then press meta and first bracket it will enclose it okay if I can try one more time okay so First of all, I need to mark the sentence, which I'm going to control space and then control E. It will mark the uh, space, which I want to enclose in a packet. Then I do meta and first bracket. See, it get enclosed in a packet, right? Cool. So now, if I want to repeat something with a keystroke, say I write ls, okay, for for no apparent reason, I'm just taking a rudimentary. To repeat something, you have to do Control X Z. See, it it produce the last thing 
I have typed which is S you see control X Z see control X Z control X Z it will repeat the it will repeat the last command you invoke okay so this is this is helpful if you want to do something repeatedly on a buffer and you don't want to do it by typing so the shorthand notation is control X Z which will repeat the last command you execute okay cool so um say for instance sorry um show so i just write a rudimentary word called show you can see and my cursor is i hope everyone can see i'm zoomed enough okay coffee is the source of inspiration so early in the morning anyway so you can see my cursor is on a specific word think about it it probably a buffer full of information and your cursor sitting on a specific word okay so and you want to search something about that specific word in that buffer how do i do how do you do that simply pressing control s will prompt the search prompt and our cursor is sitting on a specific word so i want to bring it to the search prompt how do i do that control s control w look at the bottom of the screen my cursor was sitting on this particular word okay and i wanted to search that particular word in the buffer and i want to bring that word in the search prompt this is what exactly done control s control w which will bring the word to the search prompt okay to search through the buffer pretty darn simple but very useful okay cool so i'm saying cool because it's i'm i'm gradually discovering a lot of stuff which probably a lot of other people have already discovered because i never bothered or never encountered so i'm disc say one more thing so i want uh, some abbreviation in my max and i want to expand those i'm taking an arbitrary stop just to show you the utility of our shortened notation as a command built in mx so for instance if you if i want to expand an word how do i do that say i write au okay so it already expand say if i say like this okay au i just took an arbitrary word right so metaphor slash see it expand the word to the to the to the word it has already got okay so meta forward slash will expand the word okay so if i write again a and then meta forward slash it will simply expand the word you got it right try it yourself okay so so i say for instance uh, to show how the movement in sentence what happened sentence happen okay so to 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 move in the sentence i just wrote a sentence if i wanted to go beginning of it and end of it so all i have to do meta a look my cursor is moved to the beginning of the sentence if i want to go to the end meta e see my cursor go to the end of the sentence you are following right so in a sentence if i wanted to go to the 
beginning of the sentence if the cursor is somewhere else okay and say for instance it is here i want to go to the beginning so meta a see take the cursor to the beginning of the sentence and if i want to go to the end of the sentence meta e it will take me to the end of the sentence right so this movement will enhance your productivity <coughs> sorry if you use it frequently okay all right the next one is how to how to kill a sentence meta k bang is kill the sentence okay so how to kill a sentence meta and k it will kill the sentence and bringing it back by pressing control for a slash it will undo the stuff we did in buffer okay all right say for instance if you want to upcase the first word all you have to do meta you see it upcase the first word you, you are seeing it right so let me put the damn sentence a little bit far so you can understand so the say for instance i write this in a small letter okay and i want to upcase this how do i do that by pressing meta u see the first letter get up cases okay first word get up cases so how do i make it lowercase meta l see it it, it become lowercase okay now if i want to capitalize the first word how do i do that meta c see it you are following right so it will capitalize the first word of the sentence by pressing meta c okay all right say for instance um uh, i want to i want to display all the common word occur is a thing which gather all the common stuff and showing it into the into a buffer right so to do that so how do you do that meta s and then o look at the bottom of the screen it is prompting me for the regex you can put a regex here or put the word literally say for instance i want to see how many show a show word are there in this specific buffer which will going to show me in the occur bar if i press enter see look at the right hand side buffer it is called occur buffer occur means it comes from occurrence that means a a thing which will repeat in number of times okay that's why it get it gets its name occurrence that's why this buffer is called occur so basically basically it will help you to show you any specific regex related stuff let me do it one more time meta s o and if i start okay just with the letter t say cut the beginning letter t i'm putting a regex caret which means beginning and t which means which means the word should be start with a t right if i press enter nothing is there so it will not show okay so if i do it again meta s and o and if i do again and put capital t and press enter so it is not going to see because the first letter is not there so if i do l i'm doing it again and again meta s and o and if i say s okay if i press c so whatever the letter is whatever the stuff having letter s is getting show in the occur buffer which could be useful if you want to segregate or gathered similar kind of stuff in a buffer just to have a look and importantly 
you can edit this buffer by default it's a read only but you can edit it by pressing e okay and edit it whatever you like okay once you are done say for instance let me let me give you an example press e okay so say for instance what um sorry i made a mistake so if i do this and then control c control c so it will it will bring back to the occur buffer right so this is how these are the few tips i wanted to show with you so that uh, you it might be useful to you that's why i'm making this video I hope it will become useful to you. So, in brief, uh, let me let me give you a. And this is the these are the these are the command I have uh, covered in this video. So you can pause the video on the screen and look at the command I have given the explanation beside the command. So you can try it yourself and practice it. If you if you use this kind of stuff frequently, it is after practicing three four times, it it will simply get etched into the muscle memory. That happened to everyone. So nothing new will happen to you. Okay. So if you if you use this, it will probably enhance your productivity on Emacs. Okay. So these are the rudimentary stuff. Uh, which uh, as I mentioned very beginning in the video so it's a kind of reminder to myself sometime I get lost uh, to find out a way to do something so then I take a deep look at something or search for something then come out with this kind of stuff okay so I hope it will be useful for some people thanks for watching